Hey guys, thanks for watching. So today I'm going to be talking about a few of my favorite things as the title implies. And I am very excited to make a video like this because I haven't really seen any other videos like this on YouTube um, where I am just talking about all the different categories that I am interested in. So that's both everyday care as well as outdoor um, types of scenarios. My dog is lapping up water. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but these are items that I can either carry with me or wear as I go into you know, everyday uh, types of scenarios or outdoor environments. So hunting, camping, um, survival, uh, bushcrafting, all those kind of things that I really enjoy, these products are really good at. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, the knife category and we'll end on a f the firearm category. The first item that I would like to show y'all is the uh, bench made jungle clip point. So there's two variants of this. Uh, one of them is uh, the clip point, like, like the, this one is, uh, um, obviously. And the other one is something known as a bolo, which has more of a machete, kukri type of uh, recurve in it to help with, you know, uh, processing wood, cutting branches down, and that kind of thing. Um, I, I like this one better, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. First off, I like the traditional design of this. Um, it has the same handle, uh, no matter which one you go with, but I like the orange, uh, and I like the sandprene uh, rubberized grip. I like the finger guard, um, which helps, you know, if you case you do any sort of piercing or bearing down, it, it, it protects your, your finger from running up on the blade. And I like the lanyard hole, um, which allows you to use the paracord, such as, such as I have, um, this is the 550 fire cord, which has an integrated fire tinder inside with the other cords, um, and it allows you to use it as, as a fulcrum, if, and if I remember that term correctly from science class, um, which adds um, more momentum and, and, and more chopping power to the blade. The other thing that I like about uh, this variant versus the probably more popular Bolo version is the sheath. It's very uh, simplistic. It's very straightforward. It has no fastener like the uh, the other variant does and like uh, just a lot of knives in general do. You can check out my other uh, top 10 survival knife video in the description box down below. Um, this, th this one, it has no fasteners, uh, which I just really, really like. The, uh, the, the genius of this sheath design is that it is simplistic. It's not overly complicated, um, which is awesome. I, I, I really enjoy the sheath on this as much as I enjoy the knife itself. Yeah, th this makes better uh, camp knife than it does a survival knife, but you could certainly use this knife in a survival situation if you needed to. Speaking of uh, emergency or survival situations, this next knife is from Spyderco. Also, as you can see, I have a, an orange variant, although it does come in other colors. Um, I like the orange because you can just see it easier in the woods. Um, it has a hood and a spidey hole to make it easy to open. Um, if you're in a situation that's high stress, the first thing that goes is dexterity. Um, so a lot of people don't realize that, but it's, it's good to have a way of opening a knife, obviously. And it has a, uh, a non-penetrating, non-piercing tip so that you can cut a seatbelt off of you without, you know, cutting yourself, which is always nice, I'm sure. Um, it also has a integrated whistle into the handle, and it's quite loud. In fact, it upset some of the dogs <laughs> uh, nearby. It has a retractable glass breaker, and uh, yeah, I just... I just love this thing. Um, it, it, it is a little bit thicker, so you're going to realize that it's in your pocket, and if you get the orange version, it's going to stand out a little bit. Uh, but I, I love this knife. These items are not necessarily um, the items that I uh, carry with me the most, although uh, some of them certainly are um, items that I've been carrying a lot lately. Um, these are items that I like to rotate or just put a smile on my face when I, when I carry it. Um, so these next knives are new, uh, also 2015, but both of the, the previous knives are 2015 new products that, that came out at SHOT Show. Um, 
and you can see those videos for my shot show uh, videos that I made in the description box as well. These are for Mora. Uh, Mora knives, uh, they are uh, budget friendly uh, products. This knife is only around nine bucks, and this other knife, that, that, that's, that's the more 511, this is the more robust, which is around, I guess, 15 bucks. Uh, I'll leave links in the description box with the price point next to them, uh, like I do in all my videos. Um, but uh, yeah, these, you can clip them to your belt, you can clip them to your pocket, and you have a primer and a backup knife. Now, usually more knives, I use. I just use as a backup blade, you know, I'll have a knife like this on me and then this just in my pocket, uh, clipped to my pocket. But if you are in an environment where, well first off, maybe you just don't have the funds that you can dedicate uh, to purchasing uh, blades or outdoor, outdoor knives. Um, so there's that, but also if you're just in an environment that maybe you're just in a hiking trail and it's maybe a widely visited or toured um, hiking trail and there's not a lot of hardcore uh, woodsman's there, if, if you know what I mean. It's non-threatening is what I'm getting at. Now, with all of these uh, products that I'm showing you, be sure to obey your local knife laws and gun laws as well, that I'm, uh, the gun I'm gonna show you. This next product is by Victorinox, and Victorinox is famous for making Swiss Army knives. And that quality transfers over to their multi-tool line as well. And this is the, this is a Swiss Spirit, and uh, the Spirit is, is not only uh, cap very capable, you can access all of, the, um, all of the tools while it's closed, but while it's open, it's a super smooth uh, operation. Um, and it has an awl in it as well, which anyone who's um, a Boy Scout or outdoorsman um, knows an awl is very useful. Uh, the next item is going to be uh, the flashlight category and there's going to be three flashlights different sizes um, this one is the Olight S10R baton the reason I like the baton is that it has a lot of different modes in it it's, it's a small rechargeable uh, flashlight and it has mode memory in it as well so let me bring up to a oh, I turned it off on accident I'll talk about that feature in a second but let me bring it up to a higher setting if you while it's off, uh, press and hold it down, it will go into the low moonlight setting like you saw a second ago. And if you, while it's off, press and hold it down, it will go moonlight setting and then it will go into basically a safety mode where um, if you want to put this flashlight into a backpack or something like that, um, that this will keep it from accidentally being activated or if it's in your pocket for example, as well. Um, so pressing and hold it down will turn it back on. And then from any mode, you can press and you can double tap, and it will go into a strobe mode. It also has a magnetic back, which is pretty awesome, and it has the ability to recharge from the recharging plate just by setting it on uh, the recharging plate. And the recharging plate is built so that you can still recharge other items while that's charging. The next item I'm going to talk about is the Four Sevens Bolt Action. Um, I really like this flashlight. Of course, I really like all these products. That's what this video is about. Uh, the bolt action, you push forward, pull down, and it locks into place. It has different modes, just like all the uh, flashlights do. And um, here's the, the beacon, or the SOS mode. It has a beacon mode and a strobe mode as well. Um, but this, this flashlight, the reason why it's, one of the reasons it's so good is because, just like um, I was mentioning with the, uh, with the Spyderco Assist, um, dexterity is the first thing that goes. So instead of trying to find a button or where is that button, uh, you know, in, in a stressful situation, you can just sweep your thumb forward and it will go into uh, whatever the mode is that you currently that, that's currently set at. Um, great for everyday carry. The 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 S10 baton I carry in basketball shorts, um, just around the house type of thing, or to the gym I guess too. Um, and this I carry in more of a going to work, going out um, type, of, type of environment. It's not rechargeable. It uses different, uh, different batteries than the S10 Baton, which makes it have a, it also has a smaller diameter, which I, I find uh, appealing because it doesn't take up a lot of pocket space. Uh, the next flashlight is a tiny monster. 
that's actually the name of it. It's, this is the Nightcore Tiny Monster 36, TM36 for short. Um, this is basically a small uh, spotlight. This is a very powerful flashlight and you can see just by, I'm looking in the viewfinder and you can see how far and how bright this is in the daytime. This is three in the afternoon and you can see, you can see it pretty far away, right? Um, well, just imagine how this is at night. Um, it's pretty cool, but I would only get this if you ha both had the money and had the need for an outdoor searchlight. The next item is maybe not as exciting, but maybe a little bit more practical. And that is the notch, whoops, the notch hat. And the notch hat is basically is, is, is what I'm wearing right now. And if you have wraparound sunglasses or safety goggles, this is a, basically a, a very convenient design feature. These notches that are in the bill of the hat, and you can see them on, on these as well. Uh, th these, these grooves are where, is where the sunglasses or safety glasses can rest so that it's not pressing into the bill of the hat. And you might think that, you know, maybe that's being real picky or whatever, but um, for those of us who spend a lot of time outdoors, or maybe uh, we're play we like playing baseball or uh, golf or tennis or anything like that, you know, male or female, uh, this feature is very useful uh, in those environments. Um, so don't knock it to you, try it. I, I, I think it. I think a lot of. I think it's going to catch on, and I think it's going to be big, uh, as as they say. I'm not a businessman, but I think it's. A, I think it's a pretty cool feature. And the guy's a good Christian. He puts a puts a Bible verse in it. Um, let's see here. It is Romans 5:8. So I'll leave links for, for for these products, just like I am for for, for all the uh, products, with the exception of the next product, which is the Ruger. SP 101 357 revolver, and it has been safety checked. The uh, 357 is um, one of my favorite calibers of weapon weaponry. Um, I don't uh, really care for uh, making a lot of gun reviews for my channel, and the reason for that is because um, it, guns in general are pretty controversial, uh, just because there's anti-gun people, but also even pro-gun people are very adamant about um, this caliber is better than this, revolvers are not better than whatever, um, and, and that's just a bunch of noise that I that I just don't want at this time on my channel. Um, but anyways, I really like carrying this. I, uh, I have a great holster. I'll leave a link for the holster as well in the description box, and uh, it, it just like all of these products, it, it makes me smile. It's useful and uh, I, it, it adds enjoyment to my life as well as um, it's very handy in a pinch. So anyways, that's just what I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Y'all stay safe out there and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless. And that brings me to my next point, which is fish tank. No, that's not really a good transition for this, but these knives have all been in here for at least a year and a half. The black handled ones have been in the fish tank since 2011.